Hello everybody, my name is Miss Tomich and I'm going to be your teacher in August. I'm really looking forward to meeting you all. So, I thought that I would read you a story, one of my favourite stories. And I know that my children at the moment, they love snack time. But sometimes I hear them say, mm, I don't like that. Or, oh, that won't taste nice. But they've never even tried it. So I read them a story today and they found it really funny and now they like to try all different types of food. So I thought I would read the story to you. And it's called, I do not eat the colour green. So sit up straight, switch on your listening ears, have a listen to the story. I do not eat the colour green. I'm nearly a perfect child, not too quiet, not too wild, rarely messy, never bold. I mostly do the things I'm told. And that's the way I've always been, but I do not eat the colour green. My dad says I'm his honeybee, my granny calls me chickadee, my mum calls me her little elf, but let me introduce myself. My real name is Marlene McKean, and I do not eat the colour green. My brother Max likes broccoli. Oh yum, he says, a tiny tree. He licks his lips and cleans his plate. How can he like the food I hate? I sit and glare at every bean. I do not eat the colour green. I love red ketchup, purple juice, lemon squash and chocolate mousse. Blue and white and orange sweets, pink marshmallows, Easter treats and every colour in between. But I do not eat the colour green. My mum and dad try lots of tricks to make me eat my celery sticks. They promise toy world shopping sprees if only I will eat my peas. And other times they scream and shout when I refuse to try a sprout. My mum and dad are very mean. I do not eat the colour green. At parties when they hand out sweets and cakes and buns and other treats, I check the colours carefully in case a green one comes to me. I sift and sort each jelly bean. I do not eat the colour green. At school I never touch the food. The dinner ladies think I'm rude because I always hold my nose and hide behind my best friend Rose. More stinky greens I've never seen. I do not eat the colour green. an invitation came in golden script it spells my name inside it reads please come at two the countess is expecting you we'll send our biggest limousine i only hope it isn't green wow what a fancy place this is so sparkly i need sunglasses and here's a table set for two how courteous, how do you do? The Countess smiles, do call me Jean, but she eats, but does she eat the colour green? The table has a princely spread, a chocolate cake and gingerbread, a big meringue with strawberries and biscuits shaped like Christmas trees. The grandest feast I've ever seen, but wait, Wait, I've spotted something green. Just there beside the velvet drapes, I see a monstrous bowl of grapes. Oh my, I gasp with giant eyes. Don't they look good? The Countess sighs. She takes a bunch to offer me. What, what can I do? It's Rude to flee, the Countess says, for you, Marlene, I have to eat 
the colour green. And what a shock. It tastes so sweet. How can a green thing be a treat? I can't believe what I've just done. Perhaps I'll have another one. An apple, smiles the Countess Jean. Well, fancy that. I do like green. The end. And you can see all the yummy green things now that Marlene likes. So once she had a taste of the colour green, she really, really enjoyed it. So we need to remember that when we're having our snack, or when we're having our dinner at home, to try and ch to try and try all different types of food, because you might not think you'll like it, but you might like them a lot, especially those healthy foods like grapes or apples or broccoli. It makes you big and strong. Have a fantastic summer holiday and I'm really looking forward to meeting you all in person in August. Bye bye.